is the CI in CI Living. Did you get it? <laughs> we were looking up how to say electric slide in Spanish. That's right. A local school district is taking a unique approach when it comes to teaching students a second language, not by asking Siri, I'm guessing. <laughs> it was not helpful. No. Just saying. <laughs> so... Yeah, they start it when they're as young as five, and see, that kind of curiosity continues throughout their life. The Urbana School District's dual language program now in its fourth year, and CI Living's Ryan Burke discovered some major success. Ryan, what'd you learn? Hola, oh. by the way. Hola, and because we can't completely trust Siri on everything, it's important for all of us to learn a second language, and that's exactly what the Urbana School District is getting students to do. They are tackling two things at once, not only by getting students to learn a second language who are native English speakers, but also getting native English speakers to learn how to speak Spanish. It's really a first of its kind locally, and it's seen some pretty big results. Take a listen to the activities at Monday morning circle time. It may seem like this is a kindergarten class in Mexico, Spain, or Puerto Rico. But despite the songs, signs, and activities being in Spanish, this class is not in Uruguay, but in Urbana. We're seeing students doing things in language in two languages that we only hoped for, that we dreamed for. The Urbana School District is finding a new way to solve two problems, teaching native English speakers a second language early on, and helping native Spanish speakers to master English. Back in 2011, actually, we were seeing that our numbers of Spanish-speaking Latino students and families was growing in Urbana. And so we had conversations about what types of academic programming we could be um, planning for as the growth of this new community um, um, in Urbana was, was taking place. So That's when the district had an idea put native Spanish and English speakers together in one class. They could learn each other's languages. It's an idea that sold parent Christopher Pleasure immediately. It just increases the ability and the capacity to learn. It's like learning music helps you with math. Learning other languages helps you in other subjects as well. So that's one. The second is to be able to understand and appreciate uh, different um, origins of opinion. Christopher's son, a native English speaker, is now able to lead the kindergarten class in practicing their days of the week. Meanwhile, native Spanish speaker Andres is able to help other students in his third grade class, something that excites his mom. I think being bilingual in this uh, day and age is absolutely necessary. You know, um, they're able to help um, Spanish communities in, in the Spanish-speaking um, people in the community, just because, you know, they're bilingual, we're able to come to shelters and um, speak to people and help them write letters or um, help them read or translate. So it, it is important to us to maintain our togetherness. Kindergarten students are taught 90% in Spanish and 10% in English. By third grade, it's 50-50. District organizers say this model allows all students to have language exposure. We see that students actually are learning English faster than we ever, than they ever did before. Students who are learning English as a second language. And we're seeing students who are native English speakers, it's only strengthening their native language. Sometimes English as a second language classes can make students feel isolated from other classmates, something this program works to avoid. Second grade teacher Fanny Medina knows all too well what that can be like, having been an ESL student herself growing up. Seeing this and imagining myself in their position, I could see how I um, would feel more comfortable um, learning in my native language and you know, adapt, um, using those skills I'm learning in my native language to transfer over to my, um, academic English as well. So it's very, um, I would say, powerful in a way for both parties in the classroom. In the end, this program is about much more than just learning languages. It's about bringing all students together.
Now, one of the things that makes this program really unique is that it's in a school that is very diverse. Organizers say sometimes these dual language programs are in schools with very little diversity. This program is then serving as a model for other schools across the state. Yeah, Thanks, that's Ryan. And that's one yeah. of the things they talk about is that when you're younger, you have your brain sucks that up and you Absolutely. Can do it. It's amazing to see how they can kind of go from kindergarten and then to third grade and just how much they're they're almost fluent in the other language. It's incredible. Well, and as the world gets smaller, you know, people travel all over the place and you, you need these kinds of languages or at least the, the baseline of what it takes to learn a language or understand it. Absolutely. When you, when you go out into the world. Now. Wish I had a program like that when I was in school. Me too. Hola. Hey, if you have a riot, Ryan story idea. Idea. Um, you can Facebook him, Twitter him, or send him an email. But we got to get to today's CI giving winner.